Our market monitor tonight says he has a list of stocks that could uh, be long-term buys, could rise double digits. Chris Bertelson is the chief investment officer at Global Finance Private Capital. Chris, welcome. Good to have you with us. Let's jump Great right into here. your stocks. When I looked at my notes, I saw JD. I immediately thought of a product I know, Jack Daniels. But this is not Jack Daniels we're talking about. <laughs> No, uh, JD is a Chinese company. It's immune from the tantrums around the dollar and the weather of the Northeast. But look, China is changing from an export economy to a consumer economy. And the best way to play that is through the Internet. And JD is like buying Amazon six years ago. Uh, it has already 1,800 delivery centers and over 80 warehouses. And uh, I think they're giving Alibaba their bigger cousin a run. Uh, and I think it's a long-term play on China. You also like uh, an ETF, Pure Fund Cybersecurity. The symbol is hack. And it seems like almost every day we're hearing big and small corporations having to deal with cybersecurity issues. Absolutely, Sue. Uh, there's no question that uh, it pervades everything, even our own uh, home computers and, and cell phones and Teslas and everything. And I think the way to play uh, that whole area is not try to go out and buy a FireEye or Palo Alto Networks, but to find something that takes care of all of the life cycle of the attack world. And to be able to do that, if you can own a real package of securities, you can get one of the hottest areas in technology without having to take that individual bet. You like guacamole, don't you, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> your, next, your next choice is a grower of avocados. Do you know any good kale stocks, by the way? I, I, kale is healthy, too, yeah. but... Uh, uh, Cavalo Growers is great. I mean, if you look at their earnings progression, their sales progression, they're sort of a semi-monopoly. Uh, they don't have to worry again about the export business, mainly to the U.S. Uh, with avocados and uh, uh, tomatoes and other things. And the best part of it is that it's now a health food conscious area and everybody says the good fats and avocado. But if you look inside the company and see the growth in both earnings and sales, you realize it's a little bit immune to maybe this uh, blip we'll get in uh, with, with March quarter earnings. Yeah, what about earnings and what about the market overall, Chris? I know you, you invest in, with different time horizons in some of your holdings, but overall, are you still bullish on the market? Yes, I do. I think uh, this year will be a front end loaded year. Uh, just as uh, your previous strategist said, I think uh, we'll see some skin knees when finally the Fed says, OK, here it comes. But then they get over it. It'll be like May and June of 2013, and then it will be beyond it. Uh, so I'm, uh, you know, basically feel that we're in more in a secular bull market. I just think we need to have a real connection to shake out weak hands. Go have yourself a good avocado, Chris. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Have a good weekend. Chris Burleson Thank you. with Global Financial Private Capital.